Hi there, I am Dhawan and in this episode, I am going to explain to you what is osmosis and what is diffusion. So, let's move on. First, let's move on to osmosis. Okay, osmosis. Some of you may know this, some of you may not. But this is necessary for my next video on why snails die when you put salt on them. Okay, so osmosis. Osmosis, this is the definition. Osmosis is the process in which liquids, usually liquids, from a higher concentration of that liquid move to a lower concentration of that liquid to a semi-permeable membrane. Now, I'm sure you didn't understand any of this. So, I'll give you an example. Take a tumbler. Put uh, something which is porous, okay, something which is porous, like a cloth, okay, but not so porous like a sieve that water doesn't go through really fast. So, a cloth, okay, which is sturdy, tied with rubber bands, and you fill one side of it with water. First, put a glass, a glass covered with cloth, and take the tumbler, put a glass here, put a cloth here, put some water on this side, put no water on this side, leave it empty. And now, you wait for some time, for like one or two hours, and when you come back, you'll see that the water on this side has leveled down and the water on this side, which was low, has come up. So it was like this first, the water seeped through it. After you remove the glass, the water seeped through the, uh, the cloth and made this level. Now, as you see, water from the higher concentration, which is on the left side, moved to the right side because of osmosis. The cloth was a semi-permeable membrane because it allowed only a partial harsh part amount of water to pass through. If it was just glass, it would not allow any water to go. Just remember to remove the glass before you go out and do whatever you want and wait for two hours. Okay? So now if you've done this activity, good. Because now you know what is osmosis. Now, you know osmosis. Now, where do you think this would be used? Anywhere. Like, Anywhere where you want to move large quantities of water from one side to another side without too much of flow and with, without using much energy. Because all you have to do is a semi-corner membrane and osmosis will do everything for you. Okay, so now diffusion. Diffusion is the same thing as osmosis. In fact, you can categorize osmosis as a type of diffusion. Diffusion is the same thing, but it moves a gas from higher concentration of that gas to a lower concentration of that gas. So, there is no permeable membrane in this. Suppose you take a perfume bottle, you spray it. When you spray it, it expands, yes, gas expands. So, what makes it expand? That is diffusion. So, so when you spray some gas in the air, there's a higher concentration of the perfume on this side and there's a lower concentration on the other side. So, the gas expands and makes everywhere level but it will take some time and of course the whole the whole earth atmosphere won't be filled with perfume because the perfume is quite less and soon it will spread so much that you won't be even be able to smell it anymore okay so you know what's a diffusion you know what's osmosis now if you complete thorough this say thumbs up and in the comments write any questions you have and as always Thanks for watching, but remember watch my next video on why sn snails die when you pour salt on them. Because this is because of osmosis. Oh sorry, spoiler. It's okay. I'll explain it to you in the next video.